Absolute value of a number. So here's the definition. The absolute value of a number A gives the distance from A to zero on a number line. So here's the number line and you can see that absolute value is just the distance. Again, absolute value is just the distance. And talking about distance, the sign is always positive. So there's no negative uh, number for a distance. So the symbol for absolute value, it's the uh, vertical line, as you can see from the given equation. So you have two vertical lines and the inside would mean that whether it is a negative or a positive, the resulting uh, sign would always be positive. So that's the absolute value. In here, we're talking about absolute value equation and absolute value inequality. So let's look at the table. As you can see, the table uh, said that the solution set would be uh, a negative and a positive value. So it means that if you're taking an absolute value equation, you have a possibility to get a positive for your k, and then another one, it's a negative. Uh, so you have two possible solutions in order for you to uh, put it in the solution set. In uh, inequality, so you have here less than, you can see the number line, it's at the middle. On the other side, um, case three, it's greater than. So you will have the solution to going to the left of the number line and going to the right. So it's a disjoint uh, interval. And you can see we're using U to represent and connect the two intervals. So here's the first interval to the left and the second is on the right. Okay, so let's uh, take our first example. So we have here for x minus 5 in absolute value symbol or enclose it in absolute value symbol equals 8. So we call this absolute value equation. So there are two solutions here. So you take uh, 4x minus 5 equals 8 and the other one is 4x minus 5 is equal to negative 8. Now, why is it we have two solutions again? So here's the explanation of that one. So for example, I have a simple absolute value equation to the right in red. Um, what would be the possible value for x here? So x can be a positive 2 and x can be a negative 2. Because if you're taking the absolute value of a number, it gives you the positive value. So you have two possible uh, solutions. So to have a positive 8 and a negative 8. Okay, so let's continue. So next is just solving for x here. It's like uh, working with your linear equation. So for x 
is equal to eight plus five. We have to move negative five to, from left to right becomes a positive. And now we can divide this by four and four here. So our X is equal to 13 over four. So that's our first value for x. And then the other solution you have for x is equal to negative 8 plus 5. Then we divide 4 on both sides to solve for x. So x here is equal to uh, negative 3 over 4 or negative 3 fourths. So looking at our uh, equation, which is the absolute value equation, um, you can always check by plugging that in back to the original uh, equation. And these two answers would be true. Um, the first one in the solution set would be negative 3 fourths. And the other one is 13 over 4. And that's our answer. And again, you can always check the answer by plugging this in back to the original equation. So you will know if that is a true statement. Okay, so that's the answer. Let's go for the next example. We have here absolute value for x minus 3 is equal to an absolute value of x plus 6. So you have two absolute value symbol here the left and on the right side so what we can do we apply the same thing as we did a while ago you have two possible solutions here so you have 4x minus 3 and the positive value for this would be x plus 6 and then the other solution would be 4x minus 3 is equal to negative x plus 6. Okay, so that's the plus and the minus. And then we can actually solve for x now by collecting like terms. So we have to move x from right to left. Comes a negative x here. I have to move negative 3 from left to right becomes a plus 3. And then for x minus x would be 3x equals 6 plus 3 is 9. I divide 3 here. I'll divide 3 on the other side to balance the equation. So x is equal to 3. So that's the first value for x. Next. On the second part, I have to distribute the negative times your x, or you can say negative 1 times x, it gives you negative x. Negative times the positive 6 would be a negative 6. And then combining like terms, I move negative x from right to left becomes a plus x here. And then I have a negative 6 on the right side. I have to move negative 3 to the right to combine that to negative 6. And it's going to be plus 3 here. So 4x plus x would be 5x equals to negative 6 plus 3. That would be a negative 3. So I'll divide 5 on both sides. So x, therefore, would be equal to negative 3 over 5. 
So you cannot divide that exactly, so leave it as a fraction. So that would be our second answer. So in the solution set, I will write the smaller value first, negative 3 over 5, comma 3. And again, you can always check by plugging this in back to the original equation. So that's how you confirm the answers. So those are the two valid answers for this problem. Okay, next, we're going to have uh, absolute value inequality. Okay, so here's the example. You have 2x plus 1, and that's inside the absolute value symbol, less than 7. Okay? And remember what we did in um, inequality in the previous section. Well, we learned that our answers here would be plenty. So we have a lot of answers. So we express our answer in set interval notation. You can also graph this in a number line to show your um, solution. So we have two possible answers here. It would be 2x plus 1 less than 7. That's the first one. So you do the same thing with the absolute value equation, except that when you have a negative value here, you reverse the symbol, which is less than the given uh, problem. Now it becomes a greater than. So that would be 2x plus 1 greater than negative 7. So you still have positive 7 and negative 7, but the symbol reverses on the second part. And then we solve for x here. And moving 1 from left to right comes a minus 1 here. Divide by 2, divide by 2. So x is less than 7 minus 1 would be 6, divided by 2 would be 3. And then, um, on the second part, we do the same thing. Uh, we have to move our one from left to right, so it becomes a negative one there. Then divide by two. Then divide by two on the other side to solve for x. So 2 cancels out. And then dividing a positive number, it will not affect the sign. So that's still greater than the negative 7 minus 1, that's negative 8, divided by 2, that's a negative 4. So if you draw a number line for this uh, problem, you will have negative infinity here and infinity here. So this is the number line. You can always show the graph to show the solution. So this is 0 here, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And we have 1, 2, 
me so the positive part and you are using less than and greater than so that should be an empty circle empty circle for the symbol and then it says x less than three so it's pointing to the left so it's going this way to the left and then it says x greater than negative four so it should be pointing to the right so the resulting graph would mean that this would be our solution here i'll just shade that part so that would be our x so in set interval notation since we're using empty circle that should be a parenthesis negative four comma three in parenthesis and that would be our solution set for this problem. Okay, next example. So we have here 2x plus 1, an absolute value symbol, greater than 7. So you still have two possible solutions here. We go 2x plus 1, greater than 7, and then 2x plus 1, less than negative 7. So you have to reverse that because you're using a negative. And then you solve for x. So I have to move my positive one to the right, becomes a negative, minus one. Divide by two. Two is a positive, so greater than will not be affected. So this cancels out. So x greater than seven minus one is six, divided by two is three. So this would be our first uh, solution. And then the next one, do the same thing. By moving one from left to right, it becomes minus one. Divide by two on both sides. Two is a positive, so again, uh, the rule is when you divide a negative, that's the time you reverse the symbol. At this point, you don't have to reverse the symbol. So x here is still less than negative six, negative seven, I mean minus one, would be negative eight over two. So negative eight divided by two is a negative four. So in a number line, we can graph this number line here. So we have negative infinity and infinity here. And then you observe the mean. One, two, three, you have three here, four, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. It's right there. And then we are we are using greater than and less than. So we are using the empty circle. And the first one is this x greater than three. So it should be pointing to infinity from three. Then the other one, it says uh, negative 4, so that's x less than negative 4. So it's pointing going to the smallest value, which is negative infinity. So that would be our x value. So that's a disjoint interval. And uh, we're going to have the final answer in set interval notation. So we have the smallest value negative infinity, so we always use parenthesis for that uh, comma. It stops at negative four, and it's an empty circle, so parenthesis. Then remember the U means union to connect 
the first interval to the second interval. So the second interval, that would be three. So there's a parenthesis because that's an empty circle, comma, going to the right, which is the positive infinity. And then actually parenthesis. It would be the symbol. And that would be our solution set. And for this problem. So it is easier for you to recognize this compared to the test values before. Because here you have directions where to go. Going to the left, going to the right, and you know if that is at the center, at the middle of the number line also. Okay, here's another example still in absolute value inequality. So for this example, uh, think about it says uh, absolute value of 2 minus 3x greater than or equal to negative 2. So you can see there is a sign now on the right side. Remember, we always have positive there. Now there's a negative. So that indicates that uh, your answer here is a little bit different. So try to think that's a negative 2. This is greater than or equal to. So our answer should be and the solution set should be all real numbers. So our answer, you can just directly answer it, negative infinity to infinity, or you can have all real numbers in the solution set. You can actually put the big R, that's another representation for all real numbers, or you can just write all real numbers inside the solution set. Why is it all real numbers? Because whatever you do and plug into your x here, uh, whatever numbers in the number line, it gives you a positive value, which is always true uh, for greater than or equal to. So that's how you know the answer would be all real numbers. Next example. The next example is the opposite of that one. Let's say we have to use like 2x minus 6, then it's less than negative. So, since we mentioned a while ago, there is a negative already. So, this is a special case um, when you're working with absolute value inequality. So, it says negative. And the symbol is less than. And when you say it's less than, uh, you cannot have a positive value less than negative 2. So, it should be negative 3, negative 4, and it continues going to the smallest smallest value, which is negative infinity. So that would be the value that you can have to the left side of the inequality. But in this case, you can't because you're using absolute value symbol. Your answer is always positive. So this is always false when you're going to plug in a value. So it means that the solution set here would be just the empty set. There's solution or you can just write a circle with a forward slash, slash that would be the same as the empty set on the top so it is still an empty set okay so watch out on this kind of problem so you 
are going to have special cases once you have um, negative on the right side of your absolute value in the quantity. So uh, note also we're using here uh, less than, this is also true when you say less than or equal to. So think about that one because you cannot have negative on the left side, but always here you can all, always have a positive value because of the absolute value symbol. So whatever you plug in to your x, this is your x here, even your uh, x is the negative or positive, it will give you a positive value. And you can have a zero, but zero is not less than two, negative two also. So that's why our answer is empty set. So we are going back to this symbol. Either this symbol here, you can answer or this symbol here. Do not combine these two because that would be a wrong answer. So writing like this and then putting the empty set symbol inside, it's a wrong symbol. So that would mean a wrong symbol. So just use either this or this one. 